Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing some Banggood window shopping and also telling you about some things I've been recently avoiding. And uh, I would like to hear your feedback on that as well. And we'll get to talk about that as we go along. Now, first product, uh, the Flywoo Hexplorer frame is 42 bucks. I think that's pretty reasonable for what it is. Um, and yeah, you can get the HD and the analog variant. I might pick one up just to play around with this, but uh, I'm not sure if I will though. So next thing is some gates. And I think these are pretty reasonably priced gates, to be honest, because uh, I've been looking to get some myself, actually. These are almost a meter long here. Uh, this is a meter wide with uh, around 60 here, which is really good. And total height is 70 uh, centimeters here. Uh, so it looks nice. I don't know how the mounting solution is. I guess that would be the biggest problem on most of these. So you probably need to have some sort of, um, you know, grass or some kind of a dirt terrain where you could actually stick those in. So if you're looking for some gates, here's some gates for you. Next. So the 2004 motor size is coming in and it's coming in hella strong. I just recently gotten the Mumbas 2004s, uh, 2004. What, what should we call them? 2004s. We'll just call them 2004s. So the T-Motor 2004s are out now and there's a bunch more that are coming out currently. So I'm waiting on to grab a couple of them before I release a review of just one at a time. I think it's better if I just do everything together. So I just spend the extra couple days until I get everything in right and then do that video instead of doing one for every single product, unless I really have nothing else and it's just like the latest new one or something. Uh, so we're gonna be expecting a lot of these and a lot of uh, new types of frames and new classes uh, to be emerging. And I also received a pretty interesting HDLRC one with 2004 motors, which we'll be taking a look at later on. So um, it's a really nice trend. And the first time I saw this, I remember I was like, why the hell did they do that for the propeller? But now I know. So yeah, I guess I was out of touch right there. So next down the line is pretty cool, I guess. It's from GemFan. It's a, it's a 5.1 inch propeller here with LEDs built in. And it has an LED board inside the hub and it takes two batteries. And uh, it looks pretty interesting. And as you can tell, they have not increased the size of the hub uh, whatsoever there. And yeah, it looks pretty proper. I mean, I think this is the first ever true, real nice implementation of LEDs and props here. And we've been waiting for those, I know, for quite some time. I think there was another sort of implementation, but it just doesn't really, uh, didn't really sink in. So I don't really remember it that much. So next we have the HLRC Zeus AIO. They're coming out with a couple AIOs. This one is one to two S5 amp rated. So you better not be pulling a lot of amperage if you are picking this up. So this is supposed to be for like super light, possibly toothpicks, I guess, and uh, or super feathered ultra nano light quadcopters that with motors that barely take anything. And um, yeah, they come with the motor plugs. So yeah, that's uh, one to two S because a lot of people ask me which one's a good one for one to two S and I don't know people still use one to two S. So this one, the only reason like I haven't really checked it out just yet, but I just saw the price and I'm like, God, that's a, that's a lot of cash. I mean, is it really worth it? And it seems like it has two levels here. So we have the top. So it seems pretty proper, but personally, I, I don't think I would pay 200 bucks for a backpack. That's just me. Uh, you might be different, but yeah, it looks it looks nice though. I can tell you that right now. It, it seems pretty big, at least bigger than the newest URUAV one. That one's a bit too small for my liking. Um, but yeah, it looks it looks proper. I mean, it, I mean, if you really need this, then yeah, I think it would be good, depending on your use case, obviously. But usually, any camera backpack does the trick just fine. Now, what's really interesting is I found Banggood picking up the Amax motor. These are German design motors here, and they're pretty insane. It looks like a keg. Uh, I do have these. I still haven't tested them just yet, but we will be testing them in the upcoming days. I think I have the 2306 and some of the 2207s here. Uh, Amax sent those to me for testing. So you can see how the T-Bell design right there, which is pretty interesting. And um, yeah, they're doing proper stuff. I mean, a lot of people speak really highly of their motors. And okay. So here we're looking at a iFlight ESC with a different shape than normal, uh, which is kind of nice. However, recently I have been personally trying to avoid iFlight budget ESCs. Um, you know, throughout the noise testing, they always seemed a bit noisy. And recently with my seven inch build, I just, I just don't have a lot, I, nothing really bad happened except a weird flip because of the noise, but I just don't have trust in them. And I've actually gotten a couple of emails of people just telling me that they're burning them out. And, uh, you know, for there's a well-known uh, kit out there with these. And, um, yeah, they're burning left and right. So, yeah, just, uh, I don't know. 
I'm I'm being very hesitant recently to recommend anything. Um, you know, I'm just thinking like, would I buy this? Actually, I don't think I would. I'd probably go with a Mamba. The new Mambas are just insane for me. Uh, absolutely reliable, like three quadcopters so far with the different levels and gorgeous. Even the T-Motor ones, I would kind of just wait a bit on those. Some of them are good. I've heard the 45 amp is the best. And from my testing, that's what it showed. The other ones seem to have probably firmware issues or just wrong dead time and stuff like that. Uh, here we have a, just another AIO from Zeus, uh, from HLRC. Sorry about that. So this is a 25 amp one, as far as I believe. Yep, 25 amp F7 all in one. And it's not going to be like the beast mode from, or the beast one from iFly. However, it should be reliable, um, hopefully. Well, knowing HLRC, most of the things are reliable. Now, this brings me to the second topic. Now, Skystar has been releasing a lot of stuff. They're good. I mean, I mean, flight controls are good. But the, the ESCs, I don't know. Um, I've tested a couple and I didn't like what I saw. So I kind of, you know, I wouldn't pay a lot of money for these. You know, if I wanted to pay 77 bucks, I'd probably go Rush FPV. I'd probably go Hollybro, probably even go Diatone. Um, who else is there out there? Uh, those are the only ones that really stick to my head right now because those are the ones that I would really trust on my own personal build. Uh, these newer ones, they might be cool. They might have some nice features, but I personally don't want to pay that much for something that... Well, it's because I've tested so many things. I just wouldn't pay for it. That's just me. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, the Brother Hobby also, 2004, 2004 motor here. We have a lot of different KV sizes. And I still have no idea uh, what to do with these motors yet. So what frame? And uh, we're just going to see a lot of new things come in, especially into this class right now. And I have a lot of catching up to do after winter. Winter has just been absolutely terrible this year. So... Yeah, well, that's it, guys. Everything's linked down below. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And download Ask FPV. It's an awesome application. You can win stuff. You can help people. You get help. And you can even compare all prices of almost every shop. And I'm adding new ones every other day. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.